First serve in New Jersey. Dug out, now Clemson in response. Daly finds some space. The Tigers on the board. Asia Daly, another one to watch tonight. Jayla making her transition from right side to outside. Mia McGrath out of the back row digging a perfect ball. Nice job, Daly, finding that deep corner shot with heavy topspin. Low service there. Johnson blocked. And the Owls will square the score. You saw Yoki making a line shot, trying to go off the hands of Johnson. Just missed it a little wide, but the intent was there, trying to find hands to get the tool. That 470 hit percentage. Unbelievable rate for the freshman. She's been awfully impressive. Down right there. Nice comeback. They went right back to her, Keely. 470, you're right. So that's those are numbers which which is like for a really good middle. Yoki's doing that on the right side. Now she's in rotationally taking the swing on the outside. Nice set, just a vision, seeing that little seam and sneaking it through. Error there gives Kennesaw State control. I mean, this is your first time in this gym. Fans, it's all, almost welcoming into your home in a way. There's going to be nerves. You send this, we're going to probably see a lot more miss serves, I'm guessing. We'll see if it works both ways. Courtney Brown on to serve, and it's long. And this is an environment, again, if you're Kennesaw State, you know, Clemson, obviously, with all the emotion, they've been waiting on this for, you know, a while. In fact, you talk to Coach Keir. I mean, I think she told you a couple days ago, since November, they've felt like nomads. They've had nowhere to go. It's been 10 months. But for Kennesaw State, there's a lot of emotion in the building as well they've got to settle into. McGrath, they go back to her. Nice hustle. Ooh. Johnson gets it over, but wide, and Clemson wins the point. McGrath so smooth in her game. I thought Johnson for Kennesaw State holding her own on the right side. That scramble play, McGrath sneaking it through. Excellent effort, though. Devin Taylor. Big swing by Johnson. McGrath off the block. Quok, that's a part of the game of McGrath that's elevated, working off the hands. ACC volleyball is a huge block when you see four hands in front of you. Instead of getting fearful, it's learning how to go off the hands, and McGrath's improving in her junior year. Had a five-setter against Wofford. She had a career-high 23 kills against the Terriers last week. There's a nice ball put down by the Owls. I'm sure after her 23rd kill, she was like to her setter, hey, my number's 23, let's just keep it like that. No more kills. <laughs> nice swing, <laughs> strong, guess who's getting it? Johnson down the line, looking like she's going cross court, ripping that sucker line. You know, it really is something. Johnson coming in with a lot of acclaim. They've gone to her five out of six times. And she's getting it every single time the Owls are on the attack so far. Now she's on the back line serving. Lefty swing and down. Nicely done there by Ashlyn Anderson, the freshman. You're right, Quok. So in the front row, you saw Johnson when she was there getting all the reps. Now the question is, can Kennesaw State find offense? Anderson coming through with that lefty hit. 5-4 lead for the Tigers early on. Johnson serving again. Nice block. Good defending both ways. Oh, that's Taylor cool. dug out. Addie Reigns keeps it alive. The response by Kennesaw. Caroline Chastang, the junior. This is what Coach Shunzel talks about, that relentless fight. We don't look at the score. We play hard every single point. 
Nice job, Chess, staying on the outside, taking that final kill off the hands. Transferred in from Mississippi College. So far, 56 points for the Owls this season. Yoki. McGrath gets the free swing and puts it down. Those are so fun, an overpass swing. McGrath had her fair share of time to look at the court. Watch her go up, off the hands, good cover. We'll take the overpass, taking it line, find an open space. Second kill for McGrath so far today. Junior from Deerfield, Illinois. Very good player last year, but has really elevated. There's a freebie four again. That's how to cushion. You, that's how you cushion your stats right there. You get overpasses. You're like, guys, keep sending them my way. McGrath says, thank you very much. Now three kills for Mia. As Yoki is back to serve. Already 15 service aces for Yoki. That leads the team as well. The Owls having none of that. Kennesaw cuts the lead in half. Johnson sticking that pass, but it was a set by Courtney Brown going up, looking like she might have gone back and then wrist set that ball out to give her outside hitter enough seam. Eva Garner. Popped up. Yoki from the back line. You see the promise realized for the freshman right there. That was impressive. Pretty nice when you, your setter has such confidence in you to go back row on this. Running forward, the block shifted to the left. Nice reverse set. Taylor digs it out. Daly back on the edge. Quack, I just love watching Daly. I would drive two and a half hours to get here and watch <laughs> Asia Daly. Such a competitor, knows how to show up for her team, always locked in. Senior, one of the leaders in this program. Big swing right there, Chastang again. Chastang following her sister, Lauren, who is, will be in the future Hall of Fame for Kennesaw State Volleyball, showing it up. Comes from a family that loves to compete and play hard and their biggest supporters. Chastain going through the seam on that one and then on the previous one and this one going down the line. Now think about that. Your sister is the school's all-time leader in points by a country mile, kills and attack attempts, and you chose to play here anyway. That attack goes a bit wide. It just shows those are pretty big footsteps to walk in if you're playing at Kennesaw, but she's doing it quite well so far this season. This is where relationships come into play. Coach Sunzel has a great relationship with the family, and the family knows that you produce confident women if you go through Kennesaw State. So that's a compliment to the program that Shunzel's, Shunzel, Shunzel is running. On the back line, Johnson. Daly says, uh-uh. Yoki, too strong. Quack, I'm not going to lie. Every time I see a ball go up, either to Johnson or Yoki, in my head, I'm like, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> you almost feel the kill coming. That one going a little under her hand, taking it long. Tate Hansen steps off. Taylor's back for Clemson. Libero. That's another one. There's an overpass that Kennesaw gets to take advantage of. This is how you stay in the match right here. You serve tough, you stay aggressive. You have Clemson in a two-hitter rotation. Anything to get that ball overpass, go ahead, take a rip. High serve from Cole. First action from Indigo Young. Nice dig. McGrath on the back line. In the middle. 
well struck. Olivia Burridge delivers. Coach Kerr talked about the middles at Kennesaw State. They're lethal when they get in system. This is not what Clemson wants, but if you're Kennesaw State, you want this all day long. Barrage with the kill. This handle there by Kaylee Walls. Clemson back in front. Buck, when we talked to K Coach Simpson here about Yoki, saying what made her special, it's when you watch her over there in Finland, it was her way of playing the game, just so steady, so calm, yet aggressive in everything that she did. That's Indigo Young, the transfer from Charleston Southern with her first kill. Nice transition set. Arm Brewster was about five feet off and forcing it right back to Young on that swing. You miss it a little bit. It doesn't matter. As long as that finds court, you count the kill. A little bit strong on the serve there. Now serving for Minnesota State, number one. A couple of service errors now for the Tigers, one for the Owls. You see, Leah Freeman. Sorry, at, Keely. Oh, you're good. Look at Clemson passing with two. Only McGrath and Taylor. Put down. Looked like Garner got a hand on it. Garner coming all the way over for that close. That's some want to penetration. Nice setup, but even better read by middle Garner. Kennesaw State looking to take its first lead. And they'll get it. Oh, so smooth. Dayla, Daly thinking she had hands, hit the ball a little flat. Not a lot of top spin, trying to go toward that sideline. Kennesaw State coming back just when you thought Clemson had the momentum. Down by Young. A nice give there by Audrey Armbruster. Young so fast off the ground, you're gonna see the explosion. Watch how high she gets. One on one, you're putting your money on Young. Nice deep corner to kill. She's a grad transfer at Charleston Southern. She's second all time in hitting percentage at Charleston Southern, and you can see why in action here tonight. Yoki. Audrey Armbruster, the setter for Clemson. That was a reverse set. The height of the antenna, it barely cleared. Nice low delivery and Yoki. That's a good one-two punch right there. Down just under the block. Big swing by Chastang. She's been really good on the outside. Kwok, I know your daughter's only three months old, but you know, when they get to about four or five, they're gonna ask you a lot of questions and you gotta always have answers. It's no, right now with Kennesaw State, no matter what the question, there's an answer. They keep answering any situation coming at them, staying in this match. Lefty serve right off the top of the net. Courtney Brown. You do, but you have to adjust and Coach Sunzel does an excellent job working with his team. Back to the action now, Devin Taylor. Too strong out of the timeout. We're tied 15 all. Here's Johnson. And a mishandle there by Taylor. Normally quite sure of herself, but Kennesaw State Back in front by one as Johnson gets the credit. You see that a lot with what teams are doing against Clemson, going right at Devin Taylor on that service line, service game. Devin Taylor is known to stick passes. That's more like it right there. McGrath blocked. Once again, that's Garner in on the act. Showing some want to. Gardner coming all the way over. Second block so far. Nice setup by her pin blocker, Anderson. Gardner bringing the heat. 17. Volleyball there for the program. And then it's a education that's going to last you for life. So really settling home. She's married with two kids. 
calls Clemson home now. She's actually one of the coaches on my nephew's six and under soccer team. <laughs> Apparently pretty feisty at the uh, soccer field from what I understand. Backline Johnson. McGrath again this time. Slows it up a little bit. Back to McGrath. Point to the Owls there. Quack, I'll be honest with you. I thought the first changeup shot, a roll shot, McGrath's ball was going to drop. Chastain came all the way over to pick that up. Kennesaw State showing incredible want to right now. The Owls up by three. Johnson to the back line. And put down. There's Garner again with a big point earned at the net. This would be huge for Kennesaw State, being an ACC program, because the ACC right now has six teams in the top 25. So taking down any, C any ACC opponent would be huge. The Owls now up by four, Keeley. A 5-0 run for Kennesaw State. What's been different here on the Kennesaw side, on Clemson side, or both ways to allow the Owls to extend their lead a little bit? It's been the passing game. So you see the server receive breakdown for Clemson. A ball's going over on overpass or off the net setter's run. So it makes really a predictable way to set up your block or get ready for an overpass. Clemson needs to settle down, get that serve receive game going, because if not, Kansas State's taking rips. They're going, they're feeling confident. Yeah, I know this is not their home gym, but feeling confident in what they're doing on that service line. Yeah, the Owls, again, this is a program that has got some expectation in Conference USA. As you see their huddle right now, leading by four, a three and six start. As you look at the roster comparison here, uh, this they've got some returners, but only one senior. That's really a good problem to have. You've got youth, but you've also got opportunity here as they've gone from more of a senior-laden group to now 11 of those 16 are freshmen or sophomores. Coach Sunzo said, we love developing players. We're not trying to look into the transfer portal to rebuild, but it's that freshman group. And you see it's like top heavy all the way through. Those six players, Coach Sunzo's locked in knowing that they're his recruits really trying to work them into the program. And he's playing them too. You've got Kiernan Stamey, whose name we haven't really called yet. Ava Garner is coming to play. Kaylee Wall started, Ashlyn Anderson. So you've got freshmen who have been thrust into action here. You know, you expect that they're going to take a few lumps, but they're going to learn along the way. And this is a group that's been battle tested so far this year. Johnson again with the ball. And it's in. Second ace for Manu Johnson. We talked about her kills. Two aces so far in the first. This is where experience comes into play. Playing with any national team. She was in the Danish Sand national team. You feel confident in every part of your game. And again. Over and over again, Manu Johnson delivering with the ball. With a floater like that, you got to have a pretty still arm contact because if you come at a floater swinging on it, it's like a foul ball at times instead of a butt clean direction off. So far this season, as that one goes into the net, so far just seven aces in 33 sets for Manu Johnson, and she's got three here in the first against Clemson on the road. She really worked her time to the be that six rotation player to stay on the service line. Only getting better from here. Let's see if Clemson could serve a while. Down five. Yoki, the freshman. Johnson passing this time. Put down. That's Catherine Sand, redshirt freshman. She's been one of the key distributors on this Clemson team. Sant getting the front row setter option, knowing as an attacker at the net. Nice send over on two. Three assists for Sant. That's her first kill. Nice serve by Yoki. The play by Johnson to keep it alive. Drop shot. Nice dig. And two hits. Freeman. Kept it alive for the Owls, but Clemson gets another point. And look here, Keeley, they are going to serve a little while as the Tigers have cut that lead in half. Nice job, Clemson getting a pass and then running the middle on a reverse. You got to see some diversity because 
the owls are really picking up anything that's predictable. Here's a look at Mia Yoki, freshman from Finland. Again, she's got four straight matches where she's reached double digits and kills. Reigning ACC Freshman of the Week, she's got four leading the way. Yoki serving. Gets it across in the middle. McGrath. Popped over. Now to the far side. Anderson, too strong. Anderson was trying to give McGrath a taste of her own medicine, like the bounce off the hands, but just going high over. The right idea was there. You see all these players when they have a block trying to uh, pop the hands instead of avoid it. Good rally here. Yoki. Big swing and block down. Looked like Kate Hansen with the block that time. It all started with the back row tech swing by Yoki taken out of the setter and right back. Cause in the bump set. That's an easy block setup knowing exactly where it's going. Nice put down block, Hansen. And another timeout called here. There you see Johnson. He's on the right of your screen there. You do feel like in these critical moments, she's the one they'd like to get the ball to. Dig four in the back row. And there's a kill on the side. Chastang there again. And you see that. So Clemson decided to serve Johnson, take her out of the offense. That was a drop serve, caused her to go short. So you know she wasn't getting the ball. And then, of course, who's your hot hand right now? You're going outside to Chastang, coming up with a major kill. Two-point lead for the Owls. They will bring in Ava Holtz, a freshman from LaPorte, Indiana, to serve. I'm either going low and outside to McGrath or a back row tack with Yoki right now if you're Clemson. Yoki. Locked down. If you're Coach Keir right now, you're really hoping for a net violation. And maybe you're thinking about your challenge card right now. The right idea. I'm thinking there was a lot of ball on that net contact. Barrage delivers. You see her up front. A little bit long there. Kate Hansen couldn't keep it between the lines. And now it is set point for Kennesaw State. Nice job, Kennesaw State just getting a block set up on each attacker. Causing the different shots. And emphatically, Barrage puts it down and a statement for the KSU Owls. They come into New Jersey and they win the first set 25 20. Football weekend. Well, it's also Atlanta. I mean, <laughs> yeah. every day. Hansen couldn't get it down. In the middle. Nice quick reaction that time as Catherine Sant does it again. That's the second time that's worked. Coach Keir trusts the game from Sant. A six-foot blocker, and then you add her attacking ability, knowing where to place the ball, sending over on two to create that scramble. How many times we see McKenna Slavic do that over the years in a Clemson uniform as that service goes wide. And Coach Keir's got two players that she really trusts to pass the ball and to make plays like that. It's actually kind of strange coming back. It's been five years with that COVID year with Slavic being a, a, basically a five-year setter here for Clemson. Now you're seeing two new faces getting the rain with Santa and Armbruster. 1-1. One, one. Libero Freeman gets the dig.
Yoki with a big swing and then the dig. McGrath from the back line. Far side, Johnson. Oh, one thing that Johnson likes is a low flat ball. And so the block could get set up, but not enough vision to drop to see. Nice job to cut around right to the hands of Daly on that inside shot. Johnson's third kill, first of the second set. There's Daly. Backside, nicely placed. That's Stamey. First time we've called her name today. Beautifully done. Stamey showed like she was going to attack. Watch the arm change up. You look like you're going to swing and then last second drop it for that tip kill. 3-1 Kennesaw State this time with the early advantage. And off the net there. It'll be Kennesaw State that will keep service here up 4-1. Arm Brewster getting that little change up, but I think just to give something else, a different look, because Sam did a good job in those rotations. Here's a look at Leah Freeman. Taylor directing traffic to Daly and a bit wide. And there again, really since the first point, the Tigers on those balls that are right around the line, they've just not been able to keep it in play as we've got a timeout on the floor. Nicely done even to connect with that center middle connection with Gardner. Kennesaw State looking strong and Coach Sundell knows how to rebuild. I believe we got a net violation there. Kennesaw State gets another point. It's 6-1, and Asia Daly's confused about that, as is Coach Keir. That's usually my face That's when I have like an earlier alarm clock. Like, what is going on? Nice job off the hands on that. Like, what happened? A little service error there. Tigers get it. 6-2. to two. Wants it back on the scoreboard. Again, this is similar to what happened late in set number one. The Tigers got behind a handful and it worked their way back. As you see, Arm Brewster. In the middle, Ava Garner. There's another one of those freshmen. And you get a setter middle connection. It takes time to develop. And with this offense, you're seeing two setters really trying to connect and force the middle back. You've got to love what you're seeing if you're Coach Sunzel. Now Johnson. That serve comes over from Barrage. Down. Nicely done in the middle. Quok, that's your offense right there. You got to get Young the ball. She's high enough that even if she doesn't even hit a clean hand on it, you, anything's going down just of her height and elevation. That's got to be like your first option if you're thinking somewhere in the middle of the court, put her one on one, and you're probably going to come up with a point. Good hustle there. Claire Luma. Keeps it alive. Clemson still in the point. The Owls, a strong attack. The freshman, Anderson, delivers with the left. Bravo, setter Courtney Brown. She went outside in the previous ball, and then this one. Looked like she was going outside again, reversing it. You saw Young, the middle for Clemson, take a step to her right. That's all setting technique right there for that reverse kill. Brown, a third-year player, Richard Sophomore from Birmingham. We've seen her role expand. Down for McGrath. That gives hope right there to the Clemson offense. McGrath likes to go fast, but she can handle a bump set as well. Good vision, just going power through the seam. Got it to drop. Now Devin Taylor. Far side. Ooh, good save. That's super. Luma gets it over. Again the dig, this time Arm Brewster. McGrath, or excuse me. That's Yoki on the far side. 
like a deep breath of a relief. Yoki's like, w I just need to find court. Sending almost a tip shot right at the center, hoping that she would play it. The scramble by McGrath to keep it going off. Nice job, Luma, picking up the first one. Luma with the dig again in the middle. And Clemson's got a little momentum now as Kate Hansen gets a kill. Sometimes it takes a set to remind the players of the scouting report, saying we have a strong middle attack. We have to pass well enough to get the middle of the ball. Nice job, Hansen, just being up and ready. Taylor's put the ball in a couple of nice spots as well. Blocked by Hansen. Another crack at it for Kennesaw. That's another kill for Yoki. She's got five. Quack, that ball was set off and inside. Yoki manipulated her body to get it around on her right side. Watch this. Off and inside, coming around, shifting, adjusting to find her spot. Three straight points for Clemson. Excuse me, four straight now. Blocked, and again, the Owls with a chance. Right back, and out of bounds. Hansen could not get the tie, and it's the Owls by two. This is a good time to go right back to Hansen. You have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. She just took it a little wide, but this is the time you develop confidence in a player. Barrage is there to handle it. Clemson will regroup. Back to Yoki. Well done by Kennesaw. Yeah. Set over. <laughs> How about Arm Brewster? How fun is the Clemson gym with these two strong setters, Arm Brewster and Sant, both attacking setters, knowing when to use it. A nice job, great decision in that moment. Transition play, dropping it short. Boy, she's loving that. That's a great way to exit the game, right? You get Sant back in and you get to go hug your teammates. A little bit wide there by Yoki. It's a fifth service error for Clemson today. You know, Kwok, when I'm just looking at our numbers, looking at the court, you almost forget what the score it is because it's so tight and you're like, oh, Okay, Kennesaw State's up by two because it could go either way. You don't really know which team has momentum at this time. Kaylee Walls over the top of the Clemson back line. And so the Tigers will get it now with a chance to serve and tie the score at 10. Or Clem good, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, it's a good job by Luma. They're on the back line, get an opportunity. Hansen. Big swing and a dig. Chastain thought she had one. Daly too strong. And the Tigers want to touch at the net. They're not going to get one. And Kennesaw State leads again by two, 11-9. That's what I was going to say, Quack. I was Clemson just needs to clean it up, right? You see, Daly used to go in maybe against her block in practice, which is a little higher because the game for Kennesaw State's fast. They want to go speed in their gym. It's all about speed through seams. Daly just taking a little long. Clemson has seven kills, but five errors on their attack in this set. Hansen gets one there. The right idea going slide attack. Hansen's been a kill, and now you have Indigo Young back in the front row, whose elevate is one on one. Good time to start using your middles to stay in this match. Hansen just sneaks it over. Johnson blocked, stopped it. Quickly, that's well done by the Owls. 
Barrage getting up in transition. This is the middles. Coach Kier said, you know, if they get going, the, we know the middles can play that transition ball. You see it's a difference. The game is speed. Nice job in that transition. 12-10 Kennesaw State yet again, a two-point advantage. The Owls ready for that one. In the middle, Indigo could not put it down. A little bit short there from McGrath. You know the Owls should make a practice shirt that says, we'll make you work. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it doesn't matter win or lose, we're gonna make you work. That's a good motto to have because regardless of any point, they're fighting. Once again, this time it's Stamey. 14-10, Kennesaw State. How about the numbers on the attack here as we see this again? Go Shunzel, first time ever going to a 6-2 offense. He's known to run a 5-1, but this is what he talks about, adjusting to what the team needs. Daly, a second crack at it. Nicely done by Walls to keep it in the air. Big swing and a little too aggressive by Stamey that time. <laughs> the right idea going high, but when you catch it just a little too high, a lot of times when it sails out of bounds, you know right away what the player was trying to do. You miss it a little long, it looks a little obnoxious, right? <laughs> if you don't know any better, like saying, oh, she actually tried to hit hands. Arm Brewster back there. Blocked. Tigers will take it. That's Young and Daly, Keeley. You saw Daly getting that nice setup all the way over. Young went for the help, but that was pretty much Daly getting that nice read. Kennesaw State by two. Wet spot on the floor on the owl side. Caroline Cole going to help out. Appreciate that. Some deep breaths there, but for uh, Arm Brewster. It's an energetic gym. You know, the Owls bring a lot of energy in here, too. I don't think anybody's surprised about that. Some of these rallies. Quite fun to be a part of. Johnson. Again, the Tigers are ready for. They go back to her. Oh, good job. Oh, beautiful. Quack, that's a respect dig, or a respect attack. Watch how the defender sitting so deep, knowing what Johnson can hit with power. Hard to make that move. Nice change up at the last second. If you're Clemson, you're, you're kind of just going to take that, right? I mean, she's going to drop it in because she does have so much power. Nice serve there by Brown. There you go. Blocked out. Indigo Young, well played. Four kills now for the transfer. Hitting 800, you have four kills on five swings. The bad news for, for Clemson, she's got one more rotation. Try to use her while she's still in the front row in this transition play. Back on the floor, Luma. Freshman, tough to handle. Johnson couldn't get it over. Claire Luma has been big for the Tigers in this second set. Great observation, you're right. With the defensive scrambles, we saw just laying out, giving her body up, and then coming in very consistent on the service line. Just two kills, or excuse me, two digs on the ledger four, but some big plays on a ball in the air, and there's another. That serve, she's a freshman, but shows Consistency and maturity, nice flat serve with that control. Claire Luma with six service aces and block and set up. It's a huge wall in front of you that attackers are trying to work around. But you set her brown on the on the screen right now is doing an excellent job being deceptive in her sudden choices. She just needs a pass out of this rotation. 
Tigers looking for the lead. They haven't had it much here in the second set. They didn't have it much late in the first set either. Luma's gotten two straight. The Owls have yet to return a serve of hers. They return that one, but Taylor digs it out. All down, beautiful. Yoki just knows how to find the floor. Just as a freshman, but experience is on her side with international play from Finland saying, I'm going to work smarter, not harder. My tip shots are going down. Everyone expects the hard hit. Nice job figuring out the game. Yoki won four North European championships during her time playing in Finland. A big game player in a Clemson uniform. Johnson. That's well done. Great place to go for Kennesaw State. <laughs> With a little chest bump by Cole. Yoki, excuse me. You saw Johnson let that ball get all the way to her line and then a high snap with elevation. Oh my gosh, that was pretty. Jump serve for Johnson. Ooh. Big block by Yoki. <laughs> How fun is volleyball, Quad? Right here. Oh. I love me some volleyball. Great setup. You saw the line shot. Yoki was like, I'm not even worried about my help right now. I'm going to get this ball and put it right back. Chastang was feeling it, too. I'm sure she thought she had a kill right there. There you go. In the middle, right down the gut. We're tied again at 17. That is the offense right now, really clicking for Kennesaw State. Gardner going four kills right now. She's hitting 500 at the moment. Four kills, no errors, four. Hasn't gotten. As many opportunities, but man, she has really capitalized. If you're Clemson, you have one more rotation. Yoki's in your front row. Not a bad opportunity because she's against Chastang, a shorter blocker when you look across the front line for Kennesaw State. Run your middle away, go Yoki. Garner serve just misses the line. Clemson will get control back, up a point. Now Yoki on the back line. We've seen it for Johnson, how Kennesaw State works around it. Now Yoki serving for Clemson. Now an eight Johnson up a bit. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Kennesaw is looking for a violation there. <laughs> Oh, interesting right now because yeah. you cannot call a send a double over the net. So if the ref called a double out of the set, you, you're allowed a double if you don't send it over. So it can't be the third contact or it, you cannot send it over on the first or second contact if it's a double. So the ball technically came out with a double contact but went over to the side of Kennesaw State. Didn't allow Clemson's outside hitter to take a swing on it. So that's a violation. That was an odd play. I'm not sure I've ever seen anything quite like that. Took our crew a minute to figure that out, too. Jackie Simpson Keir didn't protest very much on that. Johnson, the dig, but to no avail. McKenna Gildon came in play on the back line for the Tigers and Johnson hit it right at her. You see the strategy transition play if it's off the net you got Johnson in the back row and then of course Barrage doing a great job getting up in transition in the middle. McGrath off the touch. That'll be a Clemson point. What a great change of shot 
You saw McGrath going sharp down the line, had a little sliver to work with, but caught the right arm of Stamey. Seven kills for Mia McGrath, who's serving now. Middle attack. Clemson stays alive. Taken off and then right down again. Kate Hansen in the middle. If you get with the Clemson squad, it's the change up of shots, guys. Those are dropping the tip shots, the roll shots, just all over it and ready is middle Hansen for that overpass. Off the block, Stamey with power. <laughs> Love this. A freshman got the tool off her arm on the right side and then sides out with a strong swing, not scared of a block. That shows a lot of character. 20-20 here in the second. Some critical points down the stretch here in Clemson. Touch shot wide. Just a mishandle there. Han Hansen didn't have a great chance to get a swing on that at all. It takes time to develop your new setter. You have both, Arm Brewster and Sand, getting the shared time. But getting that connection going, it does take a little bit of time to settle into match live game. Can we go back to Johnson. No, backside. Taylor digs it, but can't keep it alive. And it's Kennesaw State now three points away from a big set two victory. Bird Kuhn, the head coach for Omaha Supernovas who won the Pro Volleyball Federation, said speed kills. And a speed gets you a kill, but speed kills right here. Transition play, go fast. Chances are the block can't set up. The defenders can't set up around. That's how you get some quick. You said, hey, you, you took a junior college transfer, but it was somebody you knew pretty well. And other than that, there's no transfers on this roster. Let's see what Clemson's response is here. Down by two. Ball's in the hands of Caroline Cole. Daly, they're ready for it. Back to her, wow. another block. Gildon keeps it in the air. In the middle. That's beautiful volleyball there from Kennesaw State. Incredible job at blocking and defending Asia Daly on the outside. This, is cause, this causes those transition opportunities. And you know where the kill's going. Look no further. Wall says, I got a kill with Barrage. That's five kills. Well, the redshirt sophomore from Jefferson, Georgia. Tigers mopping up a wet spot. Let's take a moment, Quack, and appreciate you have uh, hitting 625 with five kills on eight swings. Yeah, Barrage, you're balling. Down. Caroline Cole gets an ace, the first of the set for Kennesaw State, and now set point. Cole getting a defensive specialist role today. We've seen her as libero as well. Nice job just coming in, owning your role. Johnson, wide. Clemson still alive here in need of three more to give themselves a chance here. Kwok, you want to play the good news, bad news game? Let's do it. You got Johnson and Barrage, your two kill leaders for Kennesaw State. Good news because they're in the front row right now with a couple match po set points. Off the block. <laughs> That'll do it. Stamey, her fifth kill, the balance of the Kennesaw State Owls, Keeley, And they have... A Trying to use the block, but if you miss the block by three inches, 
That's an, uh, considered an unforced error sending it along. Arm Brewster in. Kennesaw State gets first crack. Johnson dug out by Taylor. Over to Wagner. First swing. That's off the block. You fight for your starting role throughout season in preseason. Wagner said, I have my chance right out of the gate. Coming with a nice swing. She had double-digit kills 11 times as a freshman. This is her 10th set so far of the season. Block and down. Wagner and Young, a literal one-two punch on that front line. <laughs> I like it. Nice job, Quok. Right there, number one getting the close, and number two for the clamp down. Little spark in the gym right now. And down, in to go Young. Coach Keir talks about with her team, you have to be five set ready, playing different drills in practice. You'll do a hard scrimmage and then they train. Between, train hard, come right back, scrimmage more, but being in really good shape to have endurance throughout the match to come back and fight. Arm Brewster too low into the net. 3-1 Clemson now. And the Owls with their first chance to serve here in the third set. Leah Freeman, the libero back there. Yoki. Nice dig there by Freeman and wide. Boy, it seemed like all those were falling for Kennesaw State in the first couple. Johnson a little bit errant there. You almost feel out of that set between two and three. It's like the eye of the tiger came right out of that tunnel and say, okay, we're back, we're settled, and now we're coming out fierce. Claire Luma. That middle attack has been money all day for Kennesaw State as Garner puts it down. Keep going to it. If you're the Owls, you just keep going to it. You're one on one. You see Yoki release. Even a late jump by Young. Nice job getting up, Gardner. You talked about Johnson as a decoy. Those are the type of matchups that you're getting when she's on the floor. Lefty swing on serve from Courtney Brown. Back row setter, send over when you're reaching for it and trying to make a save back, but your hand is physically above the white of the tape that's considered a back row violation. Clemson still ahead, but again, this is Brown. Mishandled. In every set, we've seen one of these long runs by Kennesaw State, and we may be about to embark on another. It's on that serve receive pass. You don't want to punch at your ball. You want to get the contact aggressively, go get it, and either retract back. But the angle with your shoulders is everything to get the angle redirect. Johnson just has to play it over. Tipped over. And a violation. You can see the idea. So you see Devin Taylor trying to go high in transition giving her setter, Arm Brewster, enough time to make a play. Ball going over, Arm Brewster trying to make the save, sending it over, back for violation. Too strong from Brown. Quack, the first ball contact is like volleyball one-on-one, -on -one, the pass and service game. Whoever does that efficiently, you have a really good chance of winning. But the passing game, for Clemson needs to pick up. The service game, I think, is looking nice. <laughs> and Jinx. There you go. <laughs> That's well done. <laughs> Thank you. Now we know you're so. an announcer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just shocked I wasn't the first one today. <laughs> Normally, it. that's oh, my sweet spot. I got more spot. in me. I got more in me. 6-5 <laughs> Kennesaw State. Back with the balls, Johnson. Who can forget her three service aces in set one? McGrath tried to drop it in. Chastain was there. Johnson too wide on the back line. The right idea out of the back row. Johnson patting her chest like, guys, that was me. I wanted that shot, just took it a little wide. 
That's one way to serve receive pass, though. Luma took it with her hands instead of her platform to stick it for Clemson. Going to the freshman. Nice by Johnson and put down. Garner, the freshman again. Now six kills in 11 attacks. That's what I love about college middles. It's turn and go, anything tight. You don't wait for the setter to make a move. It's at the net, go ahead, take it. Garner with the over. And elated. Ava Garner taking a breather. Ava Holtz back into serve. Taylor keeps it in. McGrath. That was a heck of a set all the way across the floor there to give McGrath a shot. McGrath appreciating that set. That was a beautiful swing as well. Nice bump set by Luma on the money. Right through that seam, McGrath showing some power. Now 7-7. Seven, seven. And bodies collide there as Brown and Chastain came together. Haven't seen that so far tonight. I always think it's funny. I was a, obviously a volleyball player, but I played a lot of basketball. When you hit in basketball as a foul, it's normal. You know, you set up a spot. In volleyball, if you hit a teammate, it's like, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> you can see panic in everyone's eyes Everybody. out there. Lefty swing from Anderson. Wagner blocked. <laughs> Super job. So nice. You have a 6'3 freshman, Anderson, getting the setup. Go ahead, walk it off, high five your teammates. That was a great setup in barrage with a nice close. Eight apiece. Kaylee Walls. Back to Wagner. Kept up, McGrath, can he get it over? Gildon does get it across. To the back corner, and again a violation. <laughs> it's always fun, the scramble, the effort, the send over, you think, okay, if Clemson win this, what motivation they'll have on their side? Kennesaw State feeling confident and cruising. 9-8, Kennesaw State. Too strong. For Clemson, it's finding offense. You, right now, in this set, hitting 0-91 throughout the match, 105 Between both setters, really trying to get something going. This one, Arm Brewster is getting the full circle, but you got to find offense, because Kennesaw State is just too strong. Hanson. In the middle, both teams having success with that right now, Keeley. Getting up, transition, and going. Nice job, Young. Just turn and look right there. Out of transition, good touch. And then set her confidence that Young would just turn and pop. How about these middles? Young hitting 750, Garner hitting 545, both with six kills. Wagner. Pop back, a big time block on the edge. <laughs> when you lose so many seniors in your mix for Shunzel this last season and load in with new players, you don't really know what to expect. But the combination of everybody showing the competitive spirit, even with probably a dad out there. Probably. I mean, making the drive to Clemson, oh, probably. Yeah. Family, we're calling it. It's a nice, easy drive, right? No traffic. Arm Brewster. Whoa. I'm not even sure how her hand did that. She showed tip, and there was no movement. You saw the defender sitting in. Nice job redirecting it. It's his own four, but that left front side, that's a nice kill. He 
See her back there trying to serve. Two kills for Arm Brewster. Eight digs today. Looking for her first service ace. Johnson blocked. That's <laughs> Young and Yoki. Get it on the close, Young. Of course, beautiful setup. Young with the penetration. I'm loving your competitive spirit. And we've got a player down now. Did not see what happened there. Caroline Cole down on the Kennesaw side. Yeah, not sure what happened on that. Yeah, I couldn't tell exactly, but athletic training staff tending to her. It's an important player, DS for Kennesaw State, a senior from Lexington, Kentucky. And you could hear a pin drop in the gym right now. This right. Is, is not what anybody wants to see here in the third set. A lot of times these long delays go to the benefit of the team that's down. So you look at this, and this happens in sports as the, she's being worked on. But right now you go, okay, are we going to reset? Because Kennesaw State's looking pretty strong. We're going to show you what happened here in a second. As she's now sitting up. That's, that's good to see. Again, you don't want to see anybody sort of down on her back. Not putting any weight on that left leg. Hope she's okay for sure. And a nice hand from the crowd. Her 339th career set played. Let's see what happened here. You can see that left leg. But yeah, lower body. And of course, you hope she's okay. Now a timeout called by the Owls and well timed. Tough to see. Tigers lead by two, we'll be back. Very emotional, and she was imploring her team in the huddle to stay in the fight. It was nice to see that, but now they've got to adjust without her on the court, Keeley. And she knows how important this match is. You beat an ACC team in, in, on their home court. It's very important. A long delay, though, really favors the team that's down to shift momentum completely. Nice job out of that long break getting a block by Young. I was going to say, I'm sure that's something that Coach Keir said to her squad. Hey, this can't be a time where we flatline. And they get the block. Young, again, has been great at the net here in the third set. Arm Brewster serve, grazes the top, and down into the net. Not like you give an MVP. We're, already, we're just in the third set, but the most consistent throughout her entire game I'm going to Young, the middle for Clemson right now, from the blocking side up in transition, just playing aggressive volleyball. Down, an ace for Arm Brewster. You need something right now. Create a little distance from this Kennesaw State team. Nice job, Arm Brewster. Watch how low this ball goes under that antenna, dropping nice and short right in front of Freeman. Arm Brewster's second service ace here this season. And she gives it back that time to Kennesaw State, the Owls. Back within four, 15-11, another look. Very close. I saw Coach Keir looking at a couple fans saying, in or out, in or out. <laughs> Gotta use your resources. Yoki, perfectly placed. Chess of the game, right here, we're, we're witnessing Kwok saying, okay, they're set up in my hard shots. And you see Yoki adjusting, saying tip shot kills are getting kills for her. So she's putting up better hitting percentage numbers because she's able to figure out that chess part of the game. Yoki, a very good first set. Bit of a struggle there in the second, but she's back at it in the third. And McGrath. Big swing and a dig by Armbruster. Armbruster there again. 
Jump ball at the net, won by the Tigers. Johnson now gets it down. Johnson hit her last two steps in the air, had the full look of the court, and then decides at the last second do a change up down the line. Watch him hit it strong, takes a look. Nice line shot. That banana costume we just showed, that would be perfect for our guy Sanders. <laughs> I, think, I think that fits his personality great. Yeah, Sanders should rock that. Anderson high and could not find the corner. Clemson feeling confident. Just a little emotional release you see on the owl side. There you go, Banana Man. Our producer, Sanders. I'm telling you. I mean, Halloween, but I really feel like he would eat that. I mean, wear that while he's eating dinner. 17 <laughs> <laughs> 12 Clemson. That's a heck of a mascot to bring on the road with you. Nice dig, Arm Brewster again. Kennesaw keeping the oh, pressure yeah. on and Johnson with pace. The question is, can you keep it on? You have it, Johnson now go to the back row, showing her power in the front row, but gosh, that's gonna be a hard miss for three ro more rotations as Clemson has Yoki one more rotation in their front row. Johnson will serve now for the Owls. Clemson by four in the third, 17-13, and a mishandle. So you're saying there's a chance coming uh, back in the set. Feels like the Owls are always lurking. Don't Owls lurk too, isn't that a you thing? You know, that's actually true. I'm I think a zoo member. <laughs> <laughs> and without a lot of extra distance, you're not sliding in the sand, you're pretty much stopping. So adding that part of her game, you're seeing that fight with her team with that type of experience and bringing that into that culture of Kennesaw State Volleyball. You gotta think that helps your service game too because you can't hide in beach volleyball. Talking about how big that was in the first set. Yoki, second try. Brown delivers a ball, blocked by Yoki. Nice job, Yoki. So one-on-one, -on -one, there's no other help on that. With a tight set, Yoki had the vision and set up, perfect setup. This is the time for Clemson, you gotta go pedal to the metal because you have one, one more rotation and Barrage is back in your front row who's been producing numbers for you. In the middle. Boy. I think Garner thought she had an easy one right there, and it's a little bit wide. I think she was pretty annoyed that that one didn't get down. That's a good break for the Tigers. Look at this big swing. Gardner going up, not a, creating enough top spin on her ball. You see how it's a little flatter. That catches enough air for that type of angle. Yoki causing a little commotion with the serve. Watch how she hesitates to the line. That's developing your rhythm. You get the ball, you walk across the line, get in your pattern, looks the same. Yoki solid. Again, out of the middle. Clemson goes to McGrath off the block. Coach Kerr gives nothing but compliments out to McGrath, saying she's so steady for a six rotation player, passing dimes, and then when her team needs a point, coming through with major energy and a must needed kill. Let's talk about that. Defensively, Clemson's improved, holding Kennesaw State to hitting negative 200 in this set. The passing game's dropped off for Kennesaw State, so Clemson doing a much better job, service line, and then stopping the attack at the net. I was going to say, such an efficient performance in the first two sets from Kennesaw State, and we've seen some uncharacteristic errors here in the third, and Clemson, I mean, Clemson's got a lot to do with that too, right? Right, with the showing that st strong block set up and, and you're digging around it, you make attackers think of their different shots they got to make. Yoki, the jump serve. The lefty, Anderson. 
Okay, setter Courtney Brown going forward and the confidence to reverse it back to Anderson. Uh, that, that was like a 20-foot set. Nice reverse on that. 21-15. Ava Garner. Tigers can't play it over. A miscue there gives a little life to the Kennesaw side. For the Owls, you just need to see a little hope and a little light. You're like, can we do this? You keep going on the strong service game. You have barrage back in your front row. You know that transition game strong. They've had a five-point run in each of the first two sets, and they haven't had one yet here in the third, but they've got three in a row now. Middle Ava Gardner taking the service rep. So you go from zone five where she's serving down the line to Devin Taylor. That's a really hard set to make if you can get the pass. Brown keeps it in the air. Anderson blocked. May have gone into the top of the net there. So the Tigers will retain possession 22-17. Looking to stay alive in this first match in newly renovated Jervy Gym. Nice ball and over. Oh man. What a point won by Clemson there. It took everybody. The whole bench freaked out in that moment when Kate Hansen finally stopped Barrage in the middle. Good back set scramble. Yes, set her hands. May as well send that on the back set. Hansen getting the shutdown. That's much, been, go ahead, Keely. Well, that was much needed for Clemson just to show that you can be, you can stop Barrage. I'm going to say, that's been automatic in the middle for Kennesaw. Now, I think it's the first time that Clemson's actually stopped one of those today. 100%. And then you come right back, Kennesaw State just feeling confident and saying, okay, you're gonna stop our middle. We have a right side attacker as well. Kaylee Walls. Ball in hand. Wagner. The response and the Ooh. block just in. What a swing by Chastain and a rejection by the Tigers up front. Arm Brewster making her way all the way over to that line. Good vision down. It's a late move. Just playing with a little hope. Got the friendly bounce off. Too strong. You see the Owls. You have Clemson at set point right now in a good rotation. You have Young back in the front row in that middle attack, looking strong. But you can see there's hope with the Owls. They're not looking defeated, even though Clemson has a couple match set points. Becca Maselli, first time we've seen her today. That was wide, and the Tigers stay alive here at home, a much needed. 25-19 victory. We will head to set number four. Message, let's just get back to what we were doing before. Kennedy Wagner gets first crack at it. The response off the touch. Yoki wide. The Owls draw first blood here in the fourth. If you're Kennesaw State, you just cannot give Clemson any type of hope. You have to show you're ready to battle because Clemson's five set rat ready. They train it day in and day out with hard drills between sets. Chastang serving in the middle. That is well done. Leah Freeman again. Oh, a miss hit there. Trying to go backside. Didn't work for Arm Brewster. Now a big swing. Stamey couldn't put it down. Yoki keeps it alive. Wagner's chance. Dug out. Johnson. Wow. Another dig. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> little flick. Oh, man. Johnson down oh, wow. in the middle. What a rally. Best rally of the match. Going back and forth. Amazing digs. Incredibly done. Nice scramble play. And then who would have thought? Finishing out was just a simple roll shot. Dropping it. Nice change up by Johnson. Wagner just snuck it down right by the block. Wagner so fast off the ground. That was a nice line shot look. Her block was set up a little more inside to give her a better look. Checking back in, Claire Luma. Already an ace today, three digs and assist. Armbruster was ready for Johnson there. McGrath blocked again. Discipline. Down. Look at that front line for Kennesaw State, denying everything. The ball did not cross. You're right, Kwok. Going back and forth. What a disciplined block. Nice job on the setup by Anderson. The close by Barrage. Covering the court. Oh, beautiful dig again. Johnson. Both teams ready for that middle attack there, and it's Johnson wide that gets the point. I almost thought Setter Waltz was going to go right side to stay me, and then she decided last second, pop that wrist set right out to Johnson. Double-double for Johnson now. 10 kills, 11 digs for Manu. Oh, wow. Block again. And Clemson delivering the ball right into the Owls' hands early in set number four. This is what you want to see if your coach sons will do. You have fight, staying together. His team really showing to load up heavy in your preseason. And coming today here into Clemson is no easy battle. Yoki gets it over the block that time, and Young able to put it down and avoid the net. Oh, no, they're going to say Kennesaw State gets the point. And Coach Keir is going to get out that green card. She will challenge the first time we've seen that today. Quack, I've played enough volleyball that right away you watch body language. So Young was confused that there was a nut violation, and then right away when she looked, she looked right at Coach Keir and said, Coach, I didn't touch the net. And that gave instant validation to go ahead and use the, the challenge call by Coach Keir. She really trusts her players on those. She's constantly talking to them about the close plays. And let's see here. That was a touch from Yoki. Now here is... Tough to tell there. Ava Gardner, the middle for Kennesaw State, definitely touching net on her way down of uh -huh. that hand, causing the net motion with the ball. I think the ball caught a little net too, but definitely the hand swiping down. It looks like from the angle we've got there, it does look like it's more likely that Garner touched it than uh, that Indigo Young did. And they are gonna give the point to Clemson. That was a pretty quick review. Nice video footage right there showing the little net bounce. And I love it. Gardner knew right away, but you're just hoping it wasn't enough evidence to overturn. Clemson just happy to get that to stay in the set. Suzanne Dodd and Suzanne Garland. The Suzannes. I wonder the if they call each other and they're like, hey. <laughs> you have a name, a good name, I have a good name. Let's do the match together. Might it be nice to coordinate like that. Popped in the air. Boy, almost a cheap point there for the Owls. Block. Ooh. 
Johnson. Here it comes back to McGrath. Clark, you have to show power at the end of the match, showing that your endurance is there. You're prepared, you're trained for this moment. That was a nice, strong rip by McGrath. Nine kills, excuse me, 10 kills now and nine digs for Mia McGrath. Johnson Ooh. blocked again. Yoki and Hansen deliver. Knowing right away a spin set going outside to Johnson. Yoki had the line sealed. With a redirect there by Yoki, too, and she put that thing right down. Three straight points for the Tigers. Right off the top of the net. Devin Taylor turns it back over to Kennesaw State. The Owls up a pair. I will stay with that 6 2 formation. You have number 17. Buchkovich getting that right side start, just a little stronger block, 6-3 junior. Almost did a little DJ action with that last name. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, take a breath and go. <laughs> Blocked. Garner again. How good has she been tonight? So solid, and you see it. Trying to avoid that 6-3 right side block right in front of you. Garner, discipline with her penetration. And a little walk off helps. That's how you know you're feeling good in the gym. Yoki out. Try to go all the way across short. Quack, you're good if you even consider that shot. Right? So Yoki had <laughs> enough angle to work with. She went for speed, just not creating enough topspin. But the idea, you have to be good to have that idea. They go right back to her. Down in the middle. I love Coach Gear just giving all praise to Yoki Jane. You know, if she makes a mistake or she does something well, it's a similar reaction. She's just ready to play the next ball. So strong. Every element of her game improved. The attack's been feast or famine for Clemson in this set. Four kills, five errors so far for the Tigers. Blocked down. It's Hansen again saying no, no, no. <laughs> Isn't there a song that goes like that? No, 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 no when it's really still no, right there, in the middle of that block. Nice job, Hansen. You gotta shut down the middle. Hansen coming strong from last set, carrying it on to this set, shutting down that middle attack. Four blocks now for Hansen. Yoki's got four, Young has five, and an ace for the Tigers, and that'll get the gym going a bit. Going for precision. That ball was perfectly placed. Yoki knew the spot on the court, wasn't looking at the service passer, just trying to find that exact spot. Second ace for Yoki. McGrath. Brown was there. Johnson just got to play it over. In the middle, Brown well placed, and the block was wide. Hansen got a hand on it again. Budkovic was there. And a 9-7 lead now for Kennesaw State in the fourth. That was a right place, right time moment. Budkovic just took the turn off the hands of Hansen. Blocked again, wide. Okay, I, you know, you didn't know coming out in this set. You thought Clemson, okay, on the comeback, and then the addition, Butkovich on the right side, then you have the overpass ready by Gardner. Just a front row looking strong right now. 10-7, Johnson the serve, and a good decision there to let it ride for Devin Taylor. She thought about it. If Clemson gets a transition ball, a low set out to Gardner, 
would be a nice idea. Wagner, excuse me. A lot of pace on that. They go back to it. That time drops it down. Falls off the floor. Again, Brown puts it right where it needs to be. Hanson, another good block. Taylor keeps it in. It's a big point here. Devin Taylor. Wagner just wide. And it's the Owls after the long rally. Able to get to 11 first. Devin Taylor is definitely taking care of business in that left back. Digging some hard balls. Coach Kier happy about her defense. Just really hoping to get that last final kill. But Devin Taylor, that is some pretty defense. Once again, Ava Holtz in to serve. She's been consistently used in that role tonight. Ooh. Into the net. Back out she comes. And in goes Freeman to Libero. For Clemson, you got Young in the front row. Has a strong block and set up. Barrage is still a go-to if you can get any type of pass going. A little bit flat there. Tigers able to play it again. That time oh, off wow. the pack line. Chastain with pace and McGrath had nowhere to go. That's what you call a little dodgeball action because that ball was sailing long, just caught the height going off of McGrath. Not enough time to duck out. Chastain just hit that ball with a lot of power. Chastain now with five kills to go along with 10 digs. Maselli out for Clemson right now, along with Hanson. Gildon is back. Out. Walls couldn't keep it in. 12-10, Kennesaw State. What I love about both of these coaches, when their players miss a serve, there's no reaction. You know, a lot of player, uh, coaches are like, freak out a little bit on the sideline, and then you get your player tight. And then the next serve, they're even more tight. They're really settling into their serve. Wagner was right there. Down! She cut that angle perfectly, Keeley. Wagner saw the block, decided to take a little off of that swing. Good scramble, one hand cover ball by Taylor again. Hard shot to make. Wagner putting it with perfection. Third kill for Wagner. Back to her. Down again. Such a talent. Walk, that's what we're talking about, the speed of the set. Wagner is so good when that ball's hardly at the height of the antenna. You give her. I want to say hello to my friend Scott Whitlock, a legend at Kennesaw State. Work a lot of softball with Scott. He's watching tonight. He's very impressed with your work as an analyst, by the way. Only because I'm working with a great play-by-play. -play. <laughs> when I'm working with the bad one, I, I'm like an introvert. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, we know that's a lie. Yeah. I never say anything. <laughs> Back the other way it goes, and down. Just snuck in there, it's Stamey. She's been quiet but effective in moments. You're right, it was Stamey in that second set, showing up with the block and big swings. Way to come through when your team needs you. Out of a timeout, that's what you needed to steal momentum. 13-12, Kennesaw State back in front here in the fourth. Arm Brewster to Yoki. Back line, the power of Chastain. Boy, she has one gear. <laughs> oh, it's coming. 
She's coming in hot is what it is. She had a triple block and still tested her power to the block discipline, sneaking it through the hands, all smiles. Wagner and Kennesaw not quite able to get there. Clemson needs to ride that Wagner train. Unfortunately, she's getting her three rotations out for that back row sub. But great offense, really coming through some major kills for your team. Did not play the first two sets. She's fourth on the team with five kills. She's got three of those here in the fourth set. This is Luma. Taylor keeps it in. Johnson. Ooh. Off the top of the net, it went all the way across the net from Stamey. The block by Young there, really the critical part of that point. Such a scramble, Young just playing throughout the entire match, so stable for Clemson. Luma's serve, right on the line there. Punched over. In the middle, Young, too strong. Coach Kier thinking about it, not going to grab her challenge card. Thinking about it, asking her players. Good transition play, just a little under set. Distance was a little too far on the middle movement. Long set there. Arm Brewster the other way to Yoki, and that one's long. Kennesaw State doing an excellent job penetrating over the net, like the arms are pressed. So when Clemson decides to go high shots, they're missing the shot by like four or five inches. Clemson now nine attack errors in this fourth set. McGrath, that one's in. 11 kills, Keeley. At this time in the match, McGrath knows her shots. You take the first couple of swings, you identify what the defense is doing around your attack. McGrath found an open line shot. I'm sure that's not going to be the last time we're going to see that throughout this match. Johnson gets it back. Battle at Ooh. the net. <laughs> and the Owls able to win it. And a nice big laugh after that one. <laughs> Coach Hunzel's like, I don't care who takes the ball, just don't get a net violation on that one, please. <laughs> Two people go up, they collide together a lot of times. One hand presses the other hand to catch the net. No net on that, you'll count that as a point. Nice dig by Luma, she'll send it over. Brown. Again, Arm Brewster gives the Tigers a chance. Johnson, a big swing. They may go to her again. No back line over McGrath. She gets it back, and the block. McGrath again, off the top of the block. And a long rally this time goes the way of Clemson. Bukovich to the right side for Kennesaw State. Shut down the first one. You got an easy cover back. Second one, McGrath was like, I'm going to go a little higher with a little more power to catch that tool long. Timeout call by the Owls here. And you need to go through after an injury. That's hard to do right behind a bench as you're trying to beat an ACC team. And this building's not getting quieter. I can tell you that. A lot of folks have come out tonight. Even more will be here tomorrow when South Carolina comes in. Kennesaw State and Furman actually play at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon as well. Yoki, a big serve. Johnson with a chance. Yoki digs it out. McGrath too strong. 
Excellent dig by Yoki coming out of nowhere to dig that right back attack. I thought McGrath had a good line shot look, but just taking a little long. McGrath is your answer right now. You get a ball, you gotta go low and flat. Go ahead, take her. McGrath, nice dig that time. Block doing its job. There's that right side attack. Back to McGrath. Johnson from the back line, Luma. And there's Hanson. Okay, Audrey Armbruster develop, delivering two amazing set push sets long, and then this one. Get a kill with your right middle on the slide attack. Nice setting in that rally. Again, a big serve with the Tigers down one. Oh, wow. Another tough dig. Block high. Brown again pushes it over. Wagner, nice dig again. Battle at the net. McGrath, too strong. Oh, <laughs> defensive push right there by the Owls. Very strong, nice attacks as well. The defense by your Libro Freeman. Just stopping some balls and then two blockers ready for that overpass send just to keep the rally going. Now 18 digs for Freeman. She has been active today. Four assists as well. She's gotten in on the act and now a timeout. Looks like Clemson's gonna challenge here. I'm thinking they're gonna challenge a net violation when the two blockers turned and went up on that overpass by Freeman. Two blockers went up and it looked like net could, the net could have moved. So I'm thinking Coach Kier is gonna challenge that one. And a good spot for a challenge too. It's 19-17, you're getting late in the game. Need this set big time. If you can get this point somehow, there's a look. If you're at home and you're an Owls fan, you're cheering so hard right now because you can see the ball bounce the net and not any fingers or arms. So you, you walk, take a deep breath saying, we're gonna keep this lead. Are they watching just hands here, Keeley? Are they watching feet as well? What you, are they looking for here? Any hands or body. You have to have a full foot to go over that net for anything, but you don't even see that on either side. Mm -hmm. So you're watching the hands to see if there's any net motion, or as the blocker coming down, their arm to their body. And it will be Kennesaw's point, and then Jackie will get her explanation. 1917. This is the cushion Kennesaw State needs. It's a big point here. You feel like it too. You're a kill and an ace away from a tie. Three is a little more daunting. This is Holtz. Ooh. Oh, off the top oh, of the net. Living right. I was taking a deep breath as well because remember she missed the serve the last time to go around. This one barely popping off, caution the friendly bounds. That's how you make up on your next rotation around on that serve. And a big hug from her teammate Ava Garner. Service ace, the first one of this set could not have come at a. You play three best three out of five, but it would be like matches. They're two and two in matches. This is it, guys. This will be the first win for Kennesaw State on the road against a power conference team in five years since 2019. I always talk about pre-COVID and post-COVID. That was a pre-COVID win, so for Kennesaw State, this is a monumental task. They are just a handful of points away from getting it done. How will Clemson respond to pressure? Net violation gives it to the Tigers. That's an unforced error there. 
you brought me back to the COVID years, calling matches with the mask. And get this, Quack, the one match, you get a little net violation on the extra penetration. But the one match I did not call in COVID with a mask on, the my play-by-play -play guy gave me COVID. Are you serious? Not even joking. <laughs> <laughs> He's like coughing throughout the match. Of course. That ball's out wide. 21-18, Clemson gives it right back. This is good news. You have Stamey back in the right front block. She's been pretty solid. Just staying on the outside, hitting hard. To set Clemson's in a two-hitter rotation. Good pass, of course, is going to Young. Bad pass out to Wagner. Kaylee Walls in on the line. Absolute perfection for the Owls. When I played pro in Spain, we would say, un beso, kissing that back line of the net. Daughter of Louisville women's basketball coach Jeff Walls gets a service ace. Wagner in. She finds that back line. Wagner explodes with such height. She remembered from Mia McGrath's swings. Oh, we have a line shot open. Nice job. She's been hitting cross court, changing this shot up the line. Here's Arm Brewster. Right at the net, Ooh. tough. And again, a lot of bodies jumping without any contact there. Arm Brewster is looking straight ahead and said, Johnson, I'm coming right for you. Putting all the pressure on Johnson on this pass. Would you do it again? Yep, 100%. She tried, couldn't sneak it over. And now the Owls up three with serve. Start the music. Dun, dun, dun. You got Johnson back in your front row barrage and on the right side, Stamey. This is a really good front row pattern for Kennesaw State. Blocked oh. down by Wagner. <laughs> Kennedy Wagner late in this match. Wagner going basically one-on-one -on, -one on that. Had the full vision stop on Stamey. Give a little walk off. That's right. Gonna need a couple more of those. <laughs> yeah, you're right, right? Claire Luma. Both teams with 12 service errors today. Tigers within one. There you go, it's just staying disciplined on the Clemson side. You get the block set up. You saw a little hesitation by Barrage, and you see Setter Walls looking at her coach. Coach, what do you think the best option on? You're going Johnson. Luma again. Keeps it alive. And a net violation there. After the dig from Freeman gave Kennesaw life, the Tigers have tied it at 23. What a comeback by Clemson. It started with Wagner and her swings and with the block. That's how you got the momentum back. Tigers in need of a couple good serves here from Luma. Johnson. Long. Coach look, Keert, talk look, it out. Oh, man, look <laughs> at the comeback by Clemson. They've got set point here, Keeley. Coach Keir talks about being five set ready. She preaches it. What a comeback indeed. Four straight points with Luma with the ball. Johnson to tie it. Blocked! We're going to five sets here in New Jersey including four in the fourth set, and now they will have control in the fifth. And right into the net. That's the start the Owls needed right there. That's what you want to do if you're the Owls. You hope Clemson gets tight. You know they're, you're considered an underdog in Clemson's gym coming in right now. Kennesaw State has nothing to lose. You just have to play fearless. Wagner. Yeah. 
There she is. Keep it going. Wagner had fresh legs, but for three rotations, you're going to have to wait. Nice job, Wagner. Beautiful set. Gosh, sit, hitting so high and proved on power from her freshman year to now sophomore year. Hitting 267 at A7 kills. Among the high volume hitters, only Young has been better. And down it goes. You see the best passers in the game. It's, it's less motion. The ball's coming with plenty of motion. You don't have to come and swing at a ball, but you want to block the angle. And then from there, it's like a power pop or a reverse power pop, like a cushion off the net. But when you see passers swing on it, that's a lot of times creates that shank. A little bit wide there. Once again, Luma, so key, had two aces right there in the final moments of the fourth set. There with a service error, and we're tied at two again. That'll give Brown the ball for the Owls. Brown's been setting really good in her rotations. 11 assists, nine digs for her, and one service ace. Didn't get one there. McGrath, nice dig. Young in the middle. That's how you bounce back right after a missed serve. Luma making the scramble. Watch Luma come all the way over to stick that on the net for that transition middle attack with Young. Indigo Young, the Charleston Southern transfer. Eight kills, six blocks. Only one error today. She has been magnificent. She rotates out here. You have one more rotation. You have Johnson still in your front row. Here's Taylor. Johnson. Popped up. Nice play, Brown. Look at that. The freshman, Yoki, doubles the lead. It's all starting with the middle offense for Clemson. You just said it. You have to show you will set it, and you can. Nice job on the layout to keep it between Brown and Freeman, but just a nice low set. Good vision around the block is Yoki. Kennesaw looking to mop up some sweat. This thing's going two and a half hours, and there are very few that have exited. For good reason, I might add. Boy, that's why Kennesaw, bit of a hiccup there on the far side. You know who's really happy right now? Ask me, who's happy? Who's happy? <laughs> there you go. Uni uh, South Carolina, the team Clemson will play tomorrow. Ah, going yes. five sets, you want tired legs when you're going for a cross-state rivalry. That's a good point. Furman, too. Kennesaw's got to play at 2 o'clock. Oh, you're right. Johnson out. And Johnson, boy, they keep going to her in big moments, and she is just missing. As we may have a challenge here on the Owls side. One more look at it. it looks like Coach Shunzel Keeley is going to challenge that there was a touch at the net there. Or possibly in or out call as well. From to 15. Here's a look. Ooh. That's a hard angle to see from because you see between us and the camera, it's, it's a ball. You don't really see fingers on this angle. It's hard to see the ball's trajectory, to your point. Also hard to see how the hand responds. I'm not sure you can tell there either. I'm thinking this ball was hit out and with no touch, so we will stay with Clemson. You give one more look here. Let's see from this view. 
That's pretty conclusive there, I think, Keeley. Yeah, that's exactly the view you're looking for if you're a referee to call it quickly, saying, okay, the ball cleared any part of the hands as any of those blockers, and the ball was hit wide. So this point will stay for Clemson. Fair game. We got three good looks at that. And it is Clemson's point. Challenge unsuccessful. That's the first challenge, I believe, for the Owls today. I think all the rest of them have been coached here in Clemson. I believe you're right. Good camera operators right there. Always great to work with great people here in Clemson. Devin Taylor. Into the middle. Back to the well. Chastang delivers. That competitive spirit right out of it. Back row play. Come on, Chastang. She's got more game left in her. Now she's moving to the front row. Seven kills for Chastang. I feel like she's had like triple that because every one's been huge. Johnson sneaks it over. Ooh. Into the net. A little trickeration there from the Owls. I don't think we've seen that yet today. The right idea, just trying to go line shot over the block, just catching it a little off. Big lead right now, 7-3 in the fifth set in your home court. This is a good lead for Clemson. Yoki serving. Already two aces today. Nice flick, and again, Taylor keeps it in the air. Another Taylor! That's not good enough. Look at Coach Sunzel staying with a 5-1, keeping Walls in the front row as a setter. That's two sends over to the same spot, seeing that Taylor can play it twice. She almost did. Nice play there by Walls to get the kill. That's her first of the match. Couldn't come at a more opportune time. Another one of those freshmen that's played big minutes here today. Mia McGrath has been the go-to player in this serve receive pattern for Clemson. Maggie Bird has checked in for Kennesaw State. First time we've seen her today. She blocked that one down. <laughs> First point, and she is jacked. <laughs> yes, it helps have fresh legs as well. Enter the match, fifth set, just a little pep in the step. Nice job exploding, springing off that to stop that ball. Timeout called by Clinch, sophomore from Pooler, Georgia. A state champ in the high jump. Pretty impressive. You saw that explosion off of the ground. Watch her. She's fired up. Heck yeah. <laughs> you got to show it. You came back you just when you thought Clemson had a decent enough lead. Now you put it within two. There's enough time left. You just got to stay aggressive and shin on that serve receive pass. Because serve receive and defense, they're two different passing moves. Serve receives a little more quiet with the body. And defense, sometimes you get a lot of scramble, so it's a, a lot more motion just to keep the ball alive and up if it's on a hard hit. Again, a 7-5 Clemson advantage here. Tigers so far in the fifth, three kills, one error. Two kills, three errors for Kennesaw State. Coming in, it was Kennesaw State with the advantage in terms of hit percentage. The banana looks on, pensive. The lone banana boy. Banana boy, that's who it is, right? <laughs> right, right. They're that's banana awesome. boys, but we got one, so he's that's the banana awesome. boy the, today. The banana boy. You know, you get a five-setter, you might become banana man. <laughs> yes. Ava Holtz 
McGrath off the block. Nice job, McGrath. Changing up her shot, just saying, I'm not going to avoid this block. I'm going right into the hands of Setter Walsh, creating the motion to now get the change of sides being the first to eight. Eight five. They will change sides here in Jervy. So an 8-5 lead for Clemson, and this is just the first of two big matches this weekend. The Tigers will take on South Carolina. Here's a look at that rivalry. 67 times they've played. The Tigers have a 17-win deficit, and South Carolina has won a bunch of late. However, two years ago, it was Clemson getting a dramatic five-set victory here at Jervy, and you can imagine the roof is going to lift even more tomorrow night. There's Mia McGrath starting things off just fine from the left side of the floor. Out of a long delay between switch and sides, McGrath coming through in her junior year with a huge ace. Her first ace of the night. Nice dig by Johnson. Blocked! Who else but Hansen? Hansen coming all the way over for that. You saw Setter Arm Brewster getting a nice setup and look. All you had to do, get the close and penetrate, and you're all over that, Hanson. Hanson, nice by Johnson. Holy cow. Right? Wagner. She delivers. Endurance, the fight, the relentless effort, and then going deep. Good layout by Johnson. Owning that six rotation look. And then overpass, put away is Wagner. Clemson certainly did look ready for a fifth set. No doubt about that. I'm this is the best they've played all night. 100%. Wagner, oh, yes! Oh. It's getting up, Quok. You know, I was a college coach, right? Oh, yeah. You have to work your players. You make them sprint, you make them run, and then you put in their minds, like, guys, we're doing this because we love you and we want you to be ready for those long matches this set. I think Clemson did a much better job settling into their blocking game as well, picking off throughout the match the tendencies of the Owls. Mia McGrath, Clemson a commanding lead. Can Kennesaw respond? Yes. Boy, a clutch play there. You wonder, because you can't sleep on this Kennesaw State team, but you have a decent lead. Wagner has three more, more rotations in your front row. She's been fresh legs looking springy over the block. I get a good pass if I'm the setter. I'm going outside. Chastang picks up her eighth kill, by the way. Second only to Johnson on the outside. Gildon all the way to the back. Well, that was dangerous. Nicely done. They're going to say it was touched. Gildon playing in that right back. That was a nice flat ball going right at the right back, catching the hair by Stamey on that swing. Big swing from Stamey. Arm Brewster gets it off to Hansen on the right side. Quack to beat a team like South Carolina. You're going to need the slide attack. You have to develop that throughout the year. Preseason's big. So seeing late in the fifth set, you can get your slide attack going with Hansen. That's very hopeful for the Tigers. This is 11, Addie Reigns. And in. Boy, another big swing. Eight and nine have been terrific here in the fifth. Stamey and Chastain. You got Stamey as a freshman taking big swings, getting a block. Nice job. 
I mean, that's really nice to see. You have a freshman showing so much fight. 13-8, Clemson out. Just long. Inches away. That service from Chastain, and now the Tigers have match point here at home. Good rotations for Clemson right now. What a fight we've seen throughout this match. Armbruster to serve. Can the Owls stay composed? For the match. They'll regroup. Back to Yoki. Nice by the block. Johnson. Ooh. Middle, wide. Tigers down two sets to none. They christen Jervy Jim with a five set victory over Kennesaw State.